guys, welcome. So, I know, are you surprised? This is a general reading for the collective of Virgo. It's a bonus reading, Virgo. You were the sign that had the most views for the last series of readings. And so I'm interrupting the flow of my, <laughs> my new series of readings to give you a little bonus for that. So I wanna thank you for your continued support. Um, it's everything to me. It helps me grow the channel. Can't do it without you. So I'm going to throw a little extra something, something your way. Um, I hope to do this for other signs as well. So um, if you're here watching as another sign or maybe as a cross watcher for a Virgo and you want your own bonus reading, get those views up. Yes. Okay. I'm pulling from Fortune Oracle because... Um, just yesterday, we had what is called Jupiter Kazimi, that is spelled C-A-Z-I-M-I. -I. It, is, it is an Arabic or Sanskrit word that means in the heart of the sun. So Jupiter was conjunct the sun. It happens once a year, every year, and it's considered like the luckiest day of the year. Some people call it a day of miracles. So I'm pulling from Fortune Oracle to keep with that theme. Here we go. Virgo. Ooh, card 21, the moon. Pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. I love that you get this because on the 23rd, just a few days away, we do have a full moon in Sagittarius. Sagittarius is ruled by the planet Jupiter. <laughs> so it does feel kind of blessed um, good fortune, expansion. Let me read a little bit about this for you, Virgo. So this card indicates that your intuition is very strong at the moment. You are right to rely on your gut feelings, dreams that seem intense, or other messages and signs. Problems will be solved more easily than before, but decisions need to be made right away. Spending time alone will be nourishing to your soul. And the part that speaks to personal relationships, um, the, moon, the moon card can give you clarity regarding relationships. Be on the lookout for deception in the form of a two-faced friend, lover, or family member. They may not be what they seem. The new moon is an ideal time for relationships. Business acquaintances who meet under a new moon herald success and soulmate connections may be made. New ventures abound and positive health conditions prevail. You will find success in anything started now. Move forward confidently. Well, they're talking about a new moon and this is a full moon. Um, and it just feels to me like the full moon that's coming up. Let me see if I have any like quick little messages I can share with you about that. Beautiful. Okay, so you know that full moons are about release. It's like a culmination, something that comes full circle, and then you got to get rid of anything that's kind of in your way as you prepare for the new moon cycle. So it says um, for May 23rd, which will be the full moon in Sagittarius, it asks, are you ready to hand over to the divine anything that hasn't worked out? Yes. So that'll be a, a part of your full moon ritual is to kind of release anything that hasn't worked out. Your fortune um, oracle card is telling you, yeah, be on the lookout for anything that seems too faced, which sort of seems to come out of left field, but um, is good to trust your intuition mm -hmm. for things that may not be as they seem. I like it. Good, strong intuition vibes for you, Virgo. So let's jump in for your bonus reading. Mm -hmm. Six of Pentacles coming in with, um, oh, very interesting that the more, you know, what's crossing you here with the Six of Pentacles, which is about give and take reciprocity, um, generosity even is we're not sure you're on the same page. You may not be having someone's cooperation. So I love that those two cards come out together. Justice, talking about balance, um, harmony, 
Um, also sort of a leveling of the playing field in the past eight of cups some walking away or something here that needed to be left behind yeah i feel like i'm talking to a group of you where you're sort of <laughs> the moon comes back again cannot make this up um i feel like you're showing up here with some measure of in your conscious awareness of something that doesn't feel right <clears throat> like you're a little disillusioned because the moon can speak to us about illusion as well. Why you're, why you're being called to trust your intuition. There could have been um, someone who, who walked away from you. And this can be about anything. But of course, you know, I read for relationships and coming up in the future, there's some uncertainty or apprehension around it. Spirits talking to you. Wow, 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 wow. All right. So... Spirits talking to you about um, kind of overcoming the obstacle. Whatever it is that you're dealing with here, I feel like you don't have someone's cooperation. Like maybe they've just kind of um, flaked out on some level. You're not sure. You're not sure. The moon. So you're being called to um, sort of stay in that, in the hunt for the, for the energy of um, overcoming, right? Like the strength card is about... Um, gathering up your strength, your courage, and your confidence. So it's like if you're unconfident right now, unconfident? Yeah, if you're unconfident about this situation right now, Virgo, right? Get your game face on. The hidden energy. We are talking about past life soulmates here, and the potential going forward looks beautiful. Um, I love the Leo references with the sun and the strength card. So let's jump in with some clarifiers and see if I can figure out what's happening here. More specifically, I should say, six of pentacles, three of pentacles, queen of wands, three of cups, ace of cups. This is about um, getting back together. I feel like you're looking at that three of cups here with some disenchantment. And here we're seeing that sort of powerful energy coming back in with some either getting back together or a reconciliation is possible. Um, but there's a question around this person's cooperation, their interest here in 3D. Are they on the same page? Do they have the capacity or desire to be, you know, as giving with you as you have been with them? So let's see justice in your unconscious awareness. Temperance, King of Cups, Six of Wands. We are, there is a theme of reconciliation here for sure. Um, I feel like you've waited a long time for this, uh, like some sort of validation, vindication even. You've been really patient and I feel like you're kind of waiting for this person, the keeper of your heart here, to come in and to take some accountability, to um, to be more cooperative and available for you, to um, be a participant in this connection, to um, meet in the middle, find your common ground even. We're looking at the past with the Eight of Cups. Ten of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Wow, I feel like this person totally skipped out on you. Totally skipped out on you. Destabilizing the path for the future. Um, could have been that they would have lost a lot if they had continued on with you. I feel like this is somebody who um, made a choice. They made a choice and it wasn't above board. It does feel like you might not have even been aware of something that was happening for some of you that may be true but it definitely changed the course of the future um, destabilized it uh, in a way that feels like it was underhanded four of cups right so I definitely feel this connection is on your mind. 
This whole series of readings that I'm doing this time is also twin flamed, so focused. I'm using a different spread, so you know yours will be coming up soon. Um, yeah, you're gonna get two readings this week, Virgo. How cool! Yeah, this is just somebody who did not show up for you, and your conscious awareness is on whether or not there will be a return. And it also feels to me like that's part of a pattern of someone who's in and out. And the last time they went out, they did so in um, a less than honorable way. You still seem open here to some form of reconciliation, to uh, a return, to um, a cause for celebration. It's not like you don't want to see this person, but I feel like a lot was left hanging in the past. So let's look at the moon. which is why you're being called to um, trust your intuition. Yeah. It, it will definitely in the near future, um, you may have to do your due diligence, ask specific questions to get a specific answer. Um, I love the Aquarian energy in the future. It feels like this is somebody who um, you may have curiosity about their need for freedom. There, there might just be a problem for this person with a normal give and take relationship or a reason why they cannot be cooperative. But you've got some fears and insecurities around that. And I'm not calling you insecure, but I'm saying about the situation, um, right? So that it's hard to sort of take a leap. You will definitely need to rely on your intuition and assess the risk before you take any chances. So I love seeing the page of swords underneath because that's your, the spire detective of the tarot, your curiosity coming in with somebody who doesn't really give a lot to work with. Um, no, I, I like the king of swords because the king of swords is um, in, in, in his upright energy, a, a person who's valiant and, and um, an honorable with integrity who wants to do the right things is, is the strategist of the tarot. So not somebody that's given to fits of impulse like our knight of wands here, but it feels like you may have questions about whether about their honor and integrity. And so the double hit of the moon here is kind of letting you know, yeah, trust that instinct of yours and assess all the risk before you leap. Then spirit's telling you to get, you know, get your game face on here, strength card. Four of pentacles, there's justice again, five of wands. There's definitely something here where spirit's telling you um, if you're gonna overcome the obstacles and you need to reestablish some sense of balance in this situation, some sort of fairness, um, yeah, hold a little bit back for yourself. Be a little bit guarded. Be brave, be courageous, but, but hold back just enough so that you don't feel taken over. Um, there is some lingering conflict here and until, unless or until it's resolved, it's hard to just kind of, you know, go full bore. So I am seeing a call for your energy of um, willpower to overcome something, but it, it's not even willpower. What, what do I want to say? Just a sense of fortitude, right? To say, yeah, I can overcome this, but I, I don't need to be wildly exposed on an emotional level. I can hold enough back until I'm sure that I'm not still stuck in the muck of this conflict. Tension could be a comp sense of competition with other people or things, um, which can be anything. So if you've got like a third party, I'm not seeing it here, but if you do, that could be what that Five of Wands is talking about. So let's see the hidden energy, Six of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands. I feel what you what you can't see is this person is. Um, you may very well hear from someone. You may hear from this person. You may hear from them, uh, and I'm feeling that presence of Jupiter here. The Wheel of Fortune is talking about 
um, divine time, uh, fate and destiny. Like this may be the time you may be destined for a fresh start. And so, and it all begins with a message. So what's coming in that you can't see that's playing out behind the scenes could be this person um, preparing to or um, getting up the nerve even to reach out to you Oof. and to see if you can begin again. The sun in the outcome position, wow, with the chariot, progress, the will to move forward, to get beyond and release what has really plagued this connection. It re it, it's really nice to see this because even the death card here is talking about the end of something, the release of something that isn't gonna serve your growth, change, and transformation in this connection. We have the sun and the chariot full steam ahead, but we can't sort of release it all and get to calmer waters until we let go of the patterns, We right? If there's a pattern here, we let go of um, any insecurities or worries or questions about people's honor, integrity, intention. Um, you know, people make mistakes. So it looks here, Virgo, like you're being called to a couple different things. You're being called to prepare yourself, right? Get your strength, courage, and confidence up because you may hear from somebody from the past um, and it's somebody that kind of walked away in a shady f manner that wasn't able to be cooperative in the relationship with you. Um, you've been waiting very patiently for an opportunity to resolve that, to get some um, balance back. This is a connection that you have chosen of your own free will, um, but it's very disappointing and disillusioning right now. So you're being called to prepare to evaluate and assess the risk and also to assess the honor and integrity of this person since it seems to have been in question before. And the only way to kind of move forward and get the peace of mind and get beyond all the ish of the past, right, is to release the things that are holding back the growth, the change, the transformation between you. So that's where we're going to end it for now. Um, I am going to continue on to the extended and I want to look a little deeper into this situation with whoever this person is. Um, I'm going to, I mean, we've got three kings here. The king we're missing is the king. Of, oh, no, we have the cups. We are missing the king of wands. The king of wands takes the initiative. They're the ones that don't hesitate. Um, so we'll, we're going to look at someone who is coming in here with king energy, but where changes need to be made. So let's see what we get when we go to the extended. The link to that is below. If you are in the Virgo membership, you don't have to click the link or do anything. You can just go to moments.com. That extended is, is going to be available for you. I'm including it, even though it's a little extra. Okay, so here's the astrology. Queen of Wands is associated with the sign of Aries. Justice is out twice. That's Libra. Temperance is Sagittarian energy. King of Cups is associated with Scorpio. We have the lovers is Gemini, the king of pentacles, Taurus. The knight of wands is Sagittarian energy. The moon is here. That's um, Pisces. The fool is the planet Uranus, uh, which is um, rules Aquarius. King of swords is Aquarius. Page of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. A lot of Aquarian energy here. And you know who's sitting in Aquarius right now? Retrograde, Pluto. Lord of the Underworld. Got it? So a lot of powerful shifts coming in that realm of your chart. We've got here the Strength card is Leo. Um, Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter, which rules Sagittarius. Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius there with the Page of Wands. The Sun is Leo. Um, the chariot is Cancerian energy, and we close out here with the death card, which is Scorpio. Happy bonus reading, Virgo. I'm headed to the extended. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.